Hey folks, Sean Weed with Weed is Marine. Uh, if you're all watching this, I'm going to take it. You've probably watched a lot of our videos, but if you haven't, I want to uh, talk a little bit about ourselves before we start talking about this boat. Uh, Weed is Marine, uh, we've been a leader in bass boat sales for over 10 years. Um, we've got one of the largest selections of bass boats in the country. Um, at any given time, we'll have over 100 to 150 boats on the lot. Um, I'm the owner here. Uh, I'm a lifelong tournament fisherman. Uh, whether it be my salesmen, uh, riggers, technicians, parts guys, service managers, everyone that works here is a fisherman or outdoorsman. We do that by design. Um, we feel that we can take better care of our people when we've been through it and seen it and done it. Um, a lot of you watch our videos, you already know about us, but maybe it's the first time you're seeing this FXR21, it's gonna be a hot boat, and you want to know about Weed as Marine, um, just give you a little second there to tell us about us. You know, used boats, we usually have 40 or 50 used boats on the lot, so I see a lot of people watch these new videos and they say, man, that's a great boat, but I don't wanna spend that much money. Well, we might have a nice used uh, FX21 that's getting traded in on this boat right here. And if you're looking to trade a boat, having that large selection of inventory, uh, it tells you, you know, you the customer, I'm not scared to trade. Um, we know that we have to take trades to get folks in new boats like this. So uh, enough about us. Let's talk about the new creation out of Kilgore. Now we've had a couple 20 FXRs. This is the first 21 FXR that I got my hands on. Of course, we went with the blue. Uh, this is a cobalt blue gel. We've got a beautiful, um, beautiful color here the, the uh, I don't know the exact name but basically like a gunmetal with blue flake in it and then we have a black with a navy blue flake in it so if you're essentially looking for a blue boat that's toned down this one here is nice um, you can just pan on the colors for a second and we'll go through the rig but uh, 21 FXR folks I got to drive these boats I'm really excited uh, that's what I'll be running this year um, I was a devout I-Class fan. I've had all the models of Skeeters going back into the early 90s, uh, the, the, the ZXs, FXs, I-Classes, FXIs. This is the best riding boat Skeeters ever built. Um, I'll stand behind that. It is the best riding boat that they've built. Uh, it's very well balanced. It's a large boat. This boat's over 21 feet, but from what little bit of time that I have fished out of it, it does not feel like a big boat. What I mean by that is even though it's a huge boat, it's gonna ride good, be good on the big Lake Erie, Kentucky Lakes, Rayburn, Toledo Bend, these big bodies of water, it's still gonna back around docks, cut through timber for a big boat and do pretty well. But um, what's new? Well, everything's new. This is an all new hull. We've got several degree deeper dead rise or deeper V. That's where the ride's coming from. It's longer. Uh, we've got redesigned seats. Uh, these handles, they look a little funny at first, but I'll tell you what, these handles, they give you nice grip to get up out of the boat, uh, or if you're struggling to get kind of in and out of your seat, they kind of help. Um, we've got the same dash. That's new. That's not new, but everything else is. We've got Helix 12s this year. Uh, at Weed is Marine, we do customize our boats. Um, you know, we encourage you to buy them the way they are, but if you want custom Lowrance, Garmin, whatever you want, we rig it. And we got skilled guys that know how to rig it and do it right. Um, the deck is a masterpiece. Aircraft carrier. I mean, you know, Hee Haw wouldn't have anything on you. You could get up here. You could do a square dance. You could do a break dance. You could do whatever you want. But I'm going to fish. And when I get up here and fish, I'm going to have plenty of room to do it. I want you to just pan on that. Uh, the difference in the FXR20 and the FXR21 is all in the front deck. So... We get that longer front deck. It gives us a little bit longer, you know, overall boat, about a foot longer. That's where we get a little bit better ride. So again, if you're gonna fish big water, you're going to want to maybe lean towards the, the FXR21. Um, new step for this year, makes it nice. Hop right on up in the boat. And once we get on up in the boat, we can start checking it out. We got the day box. This is, um, Awesome tool to organize your tackle the night before a tournament. Keep your essentials in here. Your worm bags fit good. If you're dialed in and you're fishing right, man, you should only have to go for that day box. Uh, once we're up in it, the tackle compartment, man, it's cavernous. I mean, look at this. We've got enough room here. Uh, there's 12 Plano boxes that come in, and these actually come out now. 
So I actually can get in here and I pull this little bungee up on either side, holds it in in rough water. And that little bungee cord releases. And now I can take these out. I can preload them myself. I'll buy some more of these. I'll have them in my garage. I'll have one designated for smallmouth. I'll have one designated for uh, ledge fishing. I'll have one here locally for the river systems. It's gonna be a really cool new way to organize your tackle that I don't think any other boat manufacturers thought of this. If they have, I'm not aware of it. Um, rest of the tackle compartment, pretty standard. We do have mega tubes in there. We got the net underneath the lid. All the Skeeters have foam. The foam insulates um, condensation. It uh, helps keep your tackle from getting wet. This pokes into this metal lip. Skeeter's got an all aluminum deck. And what I like about it is it also quiets it down when you're walking around. Spend a lot of time fishing in shallow water here in this region of the country. And one thing that people take for granted is the element of stealth. And um, walking around on a boat deck, you make a lot of noise. If you got bare fiberglass or bare aluminum, that foam, believe it or not, actually helps. Um, it makes it makes a big deal, in my opinion. Over here on the starboard side rod locker, we can see we got gel coat compartments. We got the mega tubes. We got a nice rubber mat in here to keep your rods from getting marred up. I typically use this for storage. I don't use that for rods, and I'll get all my rods. All my rods will fit over in here. I got mega tubes. These are increased for 2020. We've got more room. I can comfortably get about 30 rods in there. Um, I've heard some folks say, why do you carry so many rods? I travel and fish uh, locally. I wouldn't have that many with me, but it's nice. I can have punch rods and swim bait rods and, and uh, finesse rods and crankbait. I've got everything in there and I don't have to dig it in and out. It's just in my boat and I keep most of it in there seasonally year round. Glove box here is pretty much the same. We've got a USB port in here. Seats redesigned, you know, one thing of folks that we don't point out in all the videos is your co-angler, okay? A lot of times we get folks that are inexperienced, they've not been in a lot of bass boats, and we got a handle here, you know? This is a this is a G-rated shell, so we just call it an O-shoot handle, but we do have an O-shoot handle here. Co-angler can brace themselves, really feel comfortable. I've got tons of room to stretch out here, put my back into the seat hold myself in a, in a good situation in this rough water. But folks, that's what this boat's made for. It's made for rough water and it just absolutely eats it up. I wish you could see that for yourselves. Cooler here is a soft touch, so this can be used as a third seat. It opens up. We've got plenty of room for your, for your, uh, your drinks and a little rack there you put your sandwiches on on either side. Live wells really aren't anything different for this year. We changed the color of them in there. Uh, and they open and reverse now. Got oxygenators. We've got lights. Good live well system. I've had very few fish die in a Skeeter live well throughout the years. Oxymax. And we got a dry dock system. Blows air through the compartments. If you live in a humid part of the country and you do get a little bit of moisture from when you're fishing, you open your compartments in the rain, that'll help fan out and dry your compartments out. We got a little dock anchor here. A little place where you tie up. That's a nice deal. A little place to tie up right there. Really, really nice. A um, lot more to this boat than I can tell you in a little bit of video, but I know I'm really excited about it. This is the first FXR we've got. I've got plenty more on order. I also want to encourage you to custom order one. We got boats. You can still pick the colors on Skeeters. A lot of folks don't know that, but we can. Um, and we encourage you to also ask us about custom ordering your boat, okay? Weed is Marines, your home for bass boats. Give us a shout at 859-647-BOAT.